Hey guys, and welcome to another money making video. So in this video, we're going to start on the skill of summoning. Now, summoning is very niche. Um, it's mainly a skill you will spend money on. But there are a couple of methods where you can make some money from skilling at the right sort of times. In terms of what we're going to make money with, we're going to turn patches into scrolls using the Amelot Hour in the Elf City. Now, to do this, you need to finish Plague's End for the full Elf City access. And you also need some summoning levels to change these pouches. So the one which actually makes the most profit is the Smoke Devil, which is level 61. However, the Steel Titan also at level 99 will also make you profit. And that is pretty much it. So all we will be doing um, is taking these pouches to the obelisk and making them into scrolls. And that's pretty much it. So I always bank in the Ithil um, area because I think it's the closest bank there. Now, there could be other methods of going to a bank quicker and then utilizing a crystal teleport to make sure it's there. And you can also use a beast of burden familiar as well, like a pack yak or a pack mammoth, to make sure um, you get um, more pouches towards the obelisk at one time. So in terms of profit per invo, so for all these pouches, I bought them a little bit under mid as well. So that's 105k for that. And with any amulet hour, you have a 20, well, it is a guaranteed 20% chance to make more scrolls. So it's more profit per patch with scrolls. So in terms of doing that in there, that has just been finished. The first price check of that, that was 105k and I've just turned it to 185k. Now in terms of how many pouches you can roughly do an hour, if you're pretty much on it and flying through it, you will do roughly just over 7k pouches an hour. 7.2k is what the wiki says. And in terms of the wiki, I will drop the link for this method as well because the price does fluctuate. And sometimes if you are 99 summoning, the Steel Legend pouches will be more money than um, the Smoke pouches. The Smoke Devil Familiar is used in the Lubridge Crypts, which is where people go and harvest some invention components. So there's always a market for it as well. But in terms of how easy this method is, it's pretty much just running back and forth. It's very um, laid back, to be fair. And especially if you load things up like presets and you use the Attune Teleport Crystal as well, you can definitely get some decent um, turnaround times as well and make the most profit possible. Now, if you were to do 7.2k pouches with the Smoke Devil pouches, you will make just under 21 mil an hour, which in terms of money makers and for skilling money makers especially, is probably one of the best ones currently available. Now, you are limited for it to be a Amlod hour as well, so there's only certain points of the day you could do this, which to be fair is probably a benefit because um, it will test your sanity to be doing this more than one hour at a time as well. Especially if you're geared up for it as well, you would fly through this and make quite a lot of money very, very quick. In terms of the Steel Titan pouches, they are less money than the Smoke Devil pouches currently, although they will still pull in somewhere in the region of 70 million profit per hour from buying the pouches and turning them into scrolls. But that is pretty much how this method is done. What I'll do now is just change it to where I'm using a pack yak, using presets and trying to teleport back as well just to give you guys the best chance of seeing how I could, how you can do it and what's the most efficient way to do it as well. In terms of other methods for summoning, unless a pouch becomes particularly profitable for some reason, uh, that is not really going to happen. Changing in scrolls is really the only thing you can do. Now, other options as well where you can use scrolls can sometimes build profit. The red spider egg scroll can make roughly about 600k an hour, which isn't the best. But the fruit bat still makes profit and always has made profit, although it's a lot more of a selection of different fruits compared to normal. Papaya is still your best fruit, um, but the other fruit now, because of things like player and farms and their use, which are much more wide throughout the game, um, all the fruits are worth picking up and banking as well. But with things like area loot, that's a lot more easier and streamlined than it used to be before. Right, so I have now a pack yak. I've got a full invo and I've also got my preset set up as well. So... Uh, Let's see how quick we can turn this into finishing the rest of those pouches. And like I say, the more you do it, the better practice you'll get and the quicker you will become. And especially for the one hour slot you're going to have to do this for because of the Amlod hour. If uh, you wanted to make some very quick money at that period of time, it's definitely worth doing. Um, in terms of GP an hour, it's probably one of the best for just a laid back, um, laid back money maker. Right, so you've got the hang, hang of it uh, now. So yeah, pretty much set to be pre-set up, have a beast of burden um, and have your take BOB and your teleport on the action bar as well. And then hopefully it can be a quick just spam at the altar or the obelisk and uh, get the pouches made and shift off to the bank. But yeah, that's pretty much this video. It was a very quick one and it's something I'm going to be doing a lot more on this channel as well. The wiki has access to so many money making guides and quite a lot of them are very good, but very unknown as well. And especially if you're looking for the more laid back way of making money rather than doing PVM, which is the biggest money maker in RS3. 
Um, I'm going to make a lot more guides from what I find to be useful or what I find to be quite unknown or definitely things you should be doing um, just to make uh, some money as quick as you can in the shortest time possible and be the most efficient you can. So I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please leave me a like and subscribe. Definitely coming with some more videos very, very soon on the channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.